The hum of the Sentinel's engines reverberated through the ship, a constant reminder of the vastness of space that surrounded them. Dr. Arya Morgan stood on the observation deck, her eyes fixed on the shimmering pinpricks of light that were the stars of the Proxima Centauri system. It was here, on a distant planet orbiting the star, that they had detected a signal. A signal that could change everything. Arya's heart raced with a mix of excitement and apprehension. As an astrobiologist, she had dedicated her life to the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, driven by a profound curiosity and a personal tragedy. The loss of her sister in a natural disaster years ago had propelled her to look beyond Earth, to find meaning and hope among the stars. Dr. Morgan, you're going to burn a hole through that glass if you keep staring like that. Eli Carter's voice interrupted her thoughts. The seasoned engineer approached, a wry smile on his face. Arya chuckled softly. Just thinking about what we might find down there, Eli. Can you imagine? Proof that we're not alone. Eli shrugged, his expression pragmatic. I'm more concerned about whether this place is habitable. We need a new home, not just new friends. Their conversation was cut short by the voice of Captain Naomi Okoye over the intercom. All hands, prepare for descent. We'll be landing on Proxima Centauri B in ten minutes. Arya felt a thrill of anticipation. This was it, the moment they had been preparing for. She turned to Eli, her eyes shining with determination. Let's make history. The descent onto Proxima Centauri B was both awe-inspiring and harrowing. The planet's surface was a rugged landscape of rocky terrain and sparse vegetation, with an atmosphere that was thin but breathable. As the Sentinel touched down, the crew quickly set about establishing their base. Captain Okoye was a commanding presence, her sharp eyes missing nothing as she coordinated the crew's efforts. Arya couldn't shake the feeling that the captain had a personal stake in this mission, something beyond the official objective. As they ventured out to explore, Arya and Eli were struck by the planet's strange beauty. The flora was unlike anything on Earth. Tall, spindly trees with translucent leaves that shimmered in the dim light, and peculiar plants that seemed to react to their presence. The fauna, too, was alien, with creatures that moved in ways that defied their understanding. This place is incredible, Arya whispered, her voice filled with wonder. There's so much to learn. Eli nodded though his expression remained cautious. Let's hope it doesn't learn to bite. Their exploration led them to the source of the signal, a series of metallic structures embedded in a rocky outcrop. The architecture was advanced, far beyond anything humanity had achieved, and it pulsed with a faint, rhythmic glow. This is it, Arya breathed, her heart pounding. This is the source. Eli scanned the area with his instruments, his brow furrowing. The energy readings are off the charts. We need to be careful. As they approached the structures, a sudden, high-pitched whine filled the air. Automated defenses sprang to life, and the crew found themselves under attack. Blasts of energy erupted around them, forcing them to take cover. We're under fire, Eli shouted, his voice barely audible over the din. We need to fall back, Captain Okoye's voice crackled over the comms. Retreat to the ship. We'll regroup and find a way to disable those defenses. Back at the Sentinel, the crew gathered to assess their situation. The attack had been a stark reminder of the dangers they faced. We need to disable those defenses if we're going to reach the signal source. Captain Okoye said, her tone decisive. Dr. Morgan Carter, I want you to work on a plan. Arya and Eli spent hours analyzing the data trying to find a way to bypass the defenses without triggering a catastrophic response. As they worked, Arya couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to the signal than they had initially thought. Eli, what if the signal is a distress call? She mused aloud. What if there's someone or something asking for help? Eli looked skeptical. It's possible, but we can't afford to take unnecessary risks. We need to focus on survival. Their conversation was interrupted by a message from the ship's AI. Captain Okoye, there is an urgent communication for you. It appears to be related to the signal. Arya and Eli exchanged a glance. Let's see what she's hiding, Eli muttered. In the captain's quarters, Arya and Eli confronted Okoye. What's going on, Captain? Arya demanded. 
What aren't you telling us? Okoye's expression was strained. This signal, it's not just a random transmission. It's from a lost human expedition. My father was on that mission. The revelation stunned Arya. Your father? But that expedition vanished decades ago. Okoye nodded, her eyes filled with a mix of hope and anguish. I joined this mission to find him. I didn't tell anyone because I didn't want it to affect our objective. But now we need to find out what happened to them. Eli's voice was hard. And what if it's a trap? What if we're putting the entire crew at risk for a personal mission? Okoye's jaw tightened. I won't force anyone to come with me, but I have to do this. I owe it to my father. Arya felt a surge of empathy. We'll help you, Captain, but we do this together as a team. With a renewed sense of purpose, the crew devised a plan to disable the automated defenses. Using a combination of hacking and diversionary tactics, they managed to create an opening. As they approached the structures once more, Arya felt a sense of foreboding. The closer they got, the more she felt that the signal was not just a call for help, but a warning. Inside the structure, they found a control room filled with advanced technology. The walls were covered in screens displaying complex data and images. In the center of the room was a console, its screen flickering with the signal's pattern. Eli began to work on the console, his fingers flying over the unfamiliar interface. This is unlike anything I've seen before, he muttered, sweat beating on his forehead. But I think I can decode it. As Eli worked, Arya explored the room, her eyes drawn to the images on the screens. They depicted scenes of the lost expedition, scientists and engineers working together, exploring the planet, and then, gradually, falling into chaos. One image showed a man who bore a striking resemblance to Captain Okoye. Naomi, Arya called softly, I think you should see this. Captain Okoye stepped forward, her breath catching as she saw the image. That's him. That's my father. Before they could process the implications, a voice crackled through the console. It was garbled and faint, but unmistakably human. If anyone, hear this, trapped, defenses, help, Eli's eyes widened. It's a recorded distress call. They must have activated the defenses to protect themselves, but it ended up trapping them instead. Captain Okoye's eyes filled with tears. We have to save them. They're still down here somewhere. Following the coordinates from the distress call, the crew navigated deeper into the structure. The passages were narrow and dimly lit, filled with strange, pulsing lights that seemed to react to their presence. Arya felt a chill run down her spine, but she pressed on, driven by a mix of fear and hope. At last, they reached a sealed chamber. Eli worked to override the lock, and with a hiss, the door slid open. Inside, they found a group of haggard, emaciated survivors, members of the lost expedition. Among them was Captain Okoye's father, his eyes hollow but alive. Father! Naomi cried, rushing to his side that he looked up, recognition dawning in his eyes. Naomi! You came. Tears streamed down her face as she embraced him. I promised I would find you. The reunion was bittersweet. The survivors had endured unimaginable hardships, trapped for decades by the very defenses meant to protect them. Yet there was a glimmer of hope in their eyes as they realized they were finally being rescued. As they prepared to return to the Sentinel, Arya couldn't shake the feeling that something was still amiss. The signal, the advanced technology, the automated defenses, it all pointed to a larger mystery. And then, she saw it. An inscription on the wall, written in a language that seemed both alien and familiar. Eli, come look at this. She called that he joined her, squinting at the inscription. It's some kind of warning. It mentions a gateway. Captain Okoye's father, weakened but alert, spoke up. The gateway, it's a portal. We were trying to open it to reach a higher plane of existence. But something went wrong. The defenses activated to prevent us from succeeding. Arya felt a surge of excitement. A gateway to another dimension? This changes everything. Eli, ever the pragmatist, frowned. Or it could mean we're dealing with forces we don't understand. Forces that could destroy us. 
Back on the Sentinel, the crew faced a difficult decision. The survivors needed medical attention, and the mission had already been fraught with danger. Yet the potential discovery of an interdimensional gateway was too significant to ignore. Captain Okoye, now more determined than ever, addressed the crew. We came here to find answers, to push the boundaries of our knowledge. We can't turn back now. Eli crossed his arms, skepticism etched on his face. And what if this gateway is another trap? What if it leads to our destruction? Arya stepped forward, her voice steady. We take precautions. We learn from the mistakes of the past. But we can't let fear stop us from exploring the unknown. The crew voted and the decision was made. They would investigate the gateway. As they descended into the depths of the structure, Arya's mind raced with possibilities. The inscription had mentioned a key, a device that would unlock the gateway. With the help of Captain Okoye's father and the remaining survivors, they pieced together the puzzle. In a hidden chamber, they found the key, a crystalline device that pulsed with a strange, otherworldly energy. Eli examined it, his expression a mix of awe and concern. This is beyond anything I've ever seen. We need to be careful. Arya nodded, feeling the weight of responsibility. We'll do this together. No risks, no recklessness. They approached the gateway, a massive archway inscribed with the same alien language. As they inserted the key, the structure hummed to life, the archway filling with a shimmering, iridescent light. Captain Okoye took a deep breath, her eyes fixed on the portal. This is it. Are we ready? Arya looked at her teammates, the trust and determination in their eyes. Together. Stepping through the gateway was like passing through a veil of light. They emerged into a realm that defied comprehension. A place where the laws of physics seemed to bend and twist. Floating islands, glowing orbs, and swirling mists filled their vision. Arya felt a sense of wonder and trepidation. This, this is another dimension. Eli scanned the area with his instruments, his face pale. The energy readings are off the charts. We need to be careful. As they ventured deeper, they encountered beings of light, entities that seemed to exist in a state of pure energy. The beings communicated through pulses of light and sound, conveying emotions and ideas rather than words. One of the beings approached, its light softening to a gentle glow. Arya felt a warmth wash over her, a sense of welcome and curiosity. She realized that these beings were not hostile. They were guardians of this dimension, protectors of the gateway. The being conveyed a message, a vision of the past. Arya saw the ancient civilization that had built the gateway, their attempts to reach higher planes of existence, and the catastrophic failure that had activated the defenses. The vision ended with a plea for understanding and cooperation. We need to learn from their mistakes, Arya said softly. We need to find a way to coexist, to explore without causing harm. Captain Okoye nodded her eyes filled with determination. We'll do it right this time. We'll honor their legacy. The journey back through the gateway was filled with a sense of purpose. They had glimpsed the wonders of another dimension, and they had forged a connection with its guardians. The mission had transformed from a search for answers to a quest for understanding. Back on Proxima Centauri B, they dismantled the automated defenses, ensuring the safety of future expeditions. The survivors of the lost expedition were given the care they needed, and plans were made to continue the exploration of the planet and its secrets. As the Sentinel prepared to leave, Arya stood on the observation deck once more, reflecting on the journey. They had faced incredible challenges, uncovered profound mysteries, and learned valuable lessons. The universe was vast and full of wonders, and they were just beginning to understand their place in it. Captain Okoye joined her a sense of peace in her eyes. We did it, Arya. We made a difference. Arya smiled, feeling a deep sense of fulfillment. And we have so much more to discover. As the ship ascended into the stars, leaving Proxima Centauri B behind, Arya knew that their mission was just the beginning. They had found a gateway to new dimensions, both literally and metaphorically, and the future of exploration was brighter than ever. Legacy the mission to Proxima Centauri B became a cornerstone of humanity's exploration of the cosmos. 
the discoveries made by the crew of the Sentinel paved the way for new ethical guidelines and a deeper understanding of the importance of coexistence with other forms of life. The Gateway remained a symbol of humanity's quest for knowledge and the potential for interdimensional exploration. Arya Morgan continued her work, inspired by the mission's revelations. She became a leading figure in the field of astrobiology, advocating for responsible and ethical exploration. Her story, along with that of the crew, became a beacon of hope and a testament to the enduring spirit of discovery. Captain Naomi Okoye and the survivors of the lost expedition found solace in their reunion, dedicating their lives to sharing their experiences and contributing to the advancement of human knowledge. The Sentinel's mission was a turning point, marking the beginning of a new era of exploration and understanding. And somewhere in the vast expanse of the universe, the memory of their journey lived on, a reminder that the quest for knowledge and the spirit of exploration would always light the way forward.